The Gospel of Mark. Mindful of the things of God. Mark 8 31-33. Introduction. 1. As Jesus traveled near Caesarea Philippi, he made the first of three predictions concerning what awaited him in Jerusalem. Mark 8 31. Mark 9:31 and 10:33-34. A. He must suffer many things. B. He must be rejected and killed, and rise again in three days. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. Mark 8:31. 2. Peter's response was adamant. A. He took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. Mark 8 32. B. Peter's words. Far be it from you, Lord. This shall not happen to you. Matthew 16 22. He spoke to them openly. Peter took him and began to rebuke him. Mark 8 32. 3. In turn, Jesus looks at his disciples and then rebukes Peter. A. Get behind me, Satan. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Mark 8.33 B. Matthew reveals that Jesus also said, You are an offense to me. Matthew 16.23 But he, turning around, and seeing his disciples, rebuked Peter, and said, Get behind me, Satan. For you have in mind not the things of God, but the things of men. Mark 8 33. 1. God's ways are not our ways. A. As stated. 1. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. Isaiah 55, 8. 2. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 9. B. As illustrated. 1. By his view of suffering in the scheme of redemption. Mark 8 31 33. Luke 24 26 27 and 44 46. 2. By his view of greatness versus ours. Mark 10 42 45. 3. By his view of beauty versus ours. 1 Peter 3 3 4. 4. By his view of money versus ours. Luke 16 13 15. 2. Mindful of the things of God. A. We cannot trust ourselves. 1. Our feelings. A. This is often the standard of right and wrong for many people. 1. Who go by whatever feels right. 2. Who place stock in a religion better felt than told. B. Yet the Bible declares the danger of trusting in our feelings. 1. There is a way which seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Proverbs 14 12. 2. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. Proverbs 28 26. 2. Our conscience. A. Let your conscience be your guide is the motto of many. B. But consider. O Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. Jeremiah 10.23 C. Our conscience is not always reliable. 1. Paul had served God with a good conscience throughout his life. Acts 23, 1. 2. Even at a time when he was persecuting Christians. Acts 26, 9-11. 3. Our wisdom. A. Many feel that through their own wisdom they can determine right and wrong. B. God has chosen to save man in a manner designed to confound the wise. 
1 Corinthians 1 18-29. C. For us to know God's will, it was necessary for him to reveal it to us. 1 Corinthians 2 9-12. 1 This he has done through his spirit-inspired apostles. 2 Who in turn shared it with us through their writings. Ephesians 3 1-5. B. We must trust in God. 1 in how to be saved. A. Some seek to be saved by good works. B. Others by faith only. C. We must trust in Jesus and his apostles. Mark 16 15-16. Acts 2 38 and 22 16. 2. In how to worship. A. Some want to offer what pleases them. B. Others want to offer what pleases others. C. We must trust in the commands and will of the Lord. Mark 7, 6-7 and 9. Colossians 3:17. 3, 3. In how to live. A. Some want to make themselves number one. B. Others want to make work or family number one. C. We must trust Jesus and the Word of God. Matthew 6.33 1 Timothy 6.17-19 2 Timothy 3.16-17 2 Peter 1.3 Conclusion 1. We can only be mindful of the things of God when we a. Humbly submit to what is revealed in the Word of God b. Refuse to let our feelings conscience, or wisdom be our guide. 2. Otherwise, we are mindful of the things of men, where we a. Become an instrument of Satan. Mark 8.33 b. Become an offense to Jesus. Matthew 16.23 Have you given much thought as to whether you are mindful of the things of God? If then you were raised with Christ, Seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Colossians 3, 1-2 And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2 The End the Gospel of Mark. Mindful of the things of God. Mark 8 31-33